What's going on YouTube? I'm going to be doing a few let's plays of games from my past, which I enjoyed playing back then, but we're going to see if I enjoy them the same way now, since I have, you know, more insight, more knowledge on how to beat them. I remember Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories right here by Konami used to be a really difficult game for me at the time. And you have to literally log hours and hours and hours just to get the better cards to help your deck to face the last guy, which happen to have the most powerful cards, spells, and traps regardless. Anyway, we should get started here. Let's do a new game. Uh, what is my name? It is O-C-N-R-S-S. Ochners! I am Ochners. From now on, call me Ochners. Hmm, what's going on here? This is it. I found it at last. The forbidden treasure of the ancient sorcerers. <laughs> he is really overzealous with this. So obviously this must be something very important towards him and the storyline in general. So let's get going for a bit of memories. Let's do this. What the fuck is this blue dude doing? My dear prince, are you going to the city to play cards again? The order of royal blood! Walk in the city streets dressed as a commoner! Have you no shame? But frankly, I'm embarrassed! Uh, we're gonna run away from you, bitch. Wait, stop, my prince! Drat, he's gone. Okay, let's uh, check out the town plaza. There should be lots of people in the town plaza, you would think, at least. Lots of people are gathered at the town plaza. But there's nothing of interest. Okay, you guys are all boring as fuck, so... You can come to the after party, but the party is reserved for all the cool kids. Be gone. Let's go to the duel ground then. Let's duel some grounds. Some diglets. I've been waiting for you, Ochners! Jonah was also here a few minutes ago, but he's gone now. How about a duel? Sure, Taya. Okay, let's play! Hope you're not a sore loser! Calm yourself, bitch. You're way too easy. Hopefully we get a decent deck. Um, whew, the earlier decks, you get a lot of poop mixed in. Like, let's see here. Insects are really bad in this game, as well as beasts and... Do we got a dragon? Yes, we at least got Yamato oh, Dragon Scroll, which dragons mix with a lot of things and they're usually pretty powerful, so that's a good start. But yeah, it's like normal Yu-Gi-Oh rules, you know, 8,000 versus 8,000. Each person starts out with five cards. However, in Forbidden Memories, they have this mechanic where you could fuse together the cards in your hand to create higher monsters. That will help you go through your deck faster, and when you fuse the cards in your hand without polymerization, you get these stronger monsters, and it's pretty much how it goes. But insects, unfortunately, do not fuse with much of anything in this game that I can really think of. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, they don't really fuse with much of anything. But it's a really good way to help you get rid of some of the stupid cards that you don't want. I don't think Yami will benefit this deck very much, so I'm just going to get rid of it from the start. But I know that... Oops. Oh no, he's a zombie. I know that zombie plus warrior... Equals something decent. Another weird thing about this game, apparently... Konami didn't think that we could handle the normal mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh! So in this version of Yu-Gi-Oh! For Memories, you can only play one card per turn so whether that be spell trap etc except for equip spell cards you can only play one card per turn which is really silly but we've got zombie warrior to start that should be more than enough to beat Taya. she has nothing to start with usually and i have not seen her fuse once so this should be a really quick duel uh let's see here zombie plus dragon 
could equal zombie dragon, but I think I have a stronger choice. I'm just going to play this in attack mode. This is another weird thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. In the normal Yu-Gi-Oh! rules, you could not place a face down attack monster. But in this game, you can, because you're stupid. I'm just going to attack our life points directly here. End our turn. Um, if we combine... Ugh. I feel like there's a plant dragon, but I'm not gonna waste my turn with that. There's definitely a zombie plant, which is called Wood Remains, which isn't very good whatsoever, but, I mean... Let's, let's get rid of some cards in our hand here. Might as well. We got Bean Soldier! <laughs> Oh my god, Bean Soldier. He looks like a really bad kidney bean ad. Like you'd see on television in some very poor country, poor state, etc. Ugh. Bean Soldier. <laughs> Let's attack her directly before she giggles to death. But yeah, you can see that I'm going through my hands pretty fast because each card you that can't fuse will just get pretty much thrown away from your deck. And then, let's say you're missing four cards in your hand after you try to fuse a bunch, you'll draw four cards next turn. So it kind of eliminates the need for drawing cards. But they really, this is an extremely dumbed down version of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, we can make Stone Dragon, I'm pretty sure, between these two. Yeah, see, that's why Yamatano Dragon Scroll is really good to start off with. Um, Stone Dragon is 2,000 attack, 2,300 defense, which is really good to start off with, because everybody else can't really fuse to make much of anything. Um, we haven't really seen the Guardian Stars come into place yet. I'll alert them to you once we reach that point, but basically, you pick a Guardian Star, and uh, um, so let's say the enemy has a different star. You could either lose 500 attack, or gain 500 attack, or vice versa, depending on the Guardian Star, or it could be completely neutral. So, since I know she has really weak monsters, we'll just attack her face down with this. And we'll attack her directly. And that'll be game, actually. Not bad for our first start. And, uh, we'll see what it comes up to here, what the, uh, the ending results mean. Um, you can see right there the spoils are star chips. And these star chips can be turned in to, uh, gain certain cards through the password system. You put in this password, it'll show this card and how many star chips it'll cost to actually purchase that card. But this, oh man, the password mechanism is just absolutely awful. Like, extremely awful. I'll show you later, but even mid, lower to mid-tier cards will cost 999,999 star chips, which is literally impossible to earn in this game. So stupid. Um, yeah, we'll talk to someone else real quick. Can we save? Hey, did you know there's a festival going on in the town plaza? Come on, let's check it out! I'll bet we'll find Jono there! Really? I don't even have a choice here, bitch? Calm yourself. My god. I know you want that Yu-Gi-Oh D, but... Sh calm. Wow, there's lots of people around! Look, the mages are about to start their procession! Awesome! Dot dot dot. But kind of spooky too. This must be the work of that detestable high mage Haitian. When I was a kid, it used to be more wholesome. I don't need to know your entire life story, Taya. Calm yourself. Even the attitude of the mages have changed for the worse. So who cares about their attitude? What's our world coming to? Uh, obviously. Festivals including mages with red and blue flags and horrible duelists called Taya Gardner. Want to go someplace else? Yes, obviously, Taya. 
Look, it's Jeno! I can't believe it, but he's still in over there! Alright, so yet again, you just bring me to somewhere without me even having a choice in the matter. Alright, calm yourself. Once again. I- I lost! I believe I have wasted my efforts on an intelligent, insignificant speck. Say what? Forgive my choice of words, you were mildly entertaining. As in his penis. Hey, Jono! Tiana and Uckners. What's going on? What'd you think? Ain't it obvious? You lost! Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I just sat back. I grew weary of this insect. Is there not one among you that is worthy of my attention? With his penis. Man, the nerve of this guy. Hey, Uckners, why don't you challenge him? After all, you're the best duelist I've ever seen. I'll bet you can beat him. Yeah, Ockners, do it. Show him who's boss around here. With your penis. Hello, are you my next victim? Yeah, of course. Fuck you. Hope you're better than the last one. Come, let us duel. Master Seto, Master Haitian calls for you. I see. So be it. The duel is postponed. Am I correct in assuming that you frequent the town's duel field? That's right. Then wait there, I shall grace you with a visit. Seto is my name, remember it. Can you believe that guy, a major with an attitude? Yeah, a real charmer. I got a feeling Ockners will put him in his place, won't you, buddy? Come on, let's look around and then head for the duel field. Can I finally save after all this stupid commentary? My gosh. Yes, save. Um, in this game, you have to save often, very often, because if you lose even one duel, it says you lose, and you have to start the campaign completely over unless you do save, which is obviously very stupid. The only time that you can lose a duel is in the free duel section and the back in the main menu to uh, sort of grind it and get better cards after a while, but if you lose in that area, then you don't lose the campaign. But, uh, let's continue here. Jeez, what does that mage think he is anyway? I gotta admit, though, that guy was real tough. Hey, Ockners, how about a game until that guy comes back? Yeah, let's do it, Joey. Alright, let's do it! I may have lost the last game, but I ain't lost my touch. That's a lie. From what I can remember, Jono doesn't have very good cards in the beginning, either. Oh, boy. Like I said, insects are completely awful to start off with. We're just going to do this and start getting rid of some cards in our hand. Hopefully we can win some cards soon enough that will help complement this. <sighs> Yet again, there's just absolutely nothing in here. As far as I could tell, yeah. I, oh, man, what do I do? Um, this is another weird thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! For the memories, I can attack with another monster and have this in defense mode to start the turn, but then I can turn it to attack during the uh, battle phase, which obviously is not proper for normal Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, obviously, Little kids can't handle the normal mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we need to be careful though, sometimes he can actually surprise us with a decent... Oh, man. This is poop. Uh, shoot. I just to get rid of those instead of being stuck with a horrible... Oh, there's the Guardian Star coming to effect. He gained 500 defense, but fortunately I still had 200 more attack than his defense. That'll play a way bigger role down the line when they have like 3500 attack monsters and even equip and you need the perfect guardian star or you lose. Um, these two should equal zombie warrior again, if you remember that from the last duel. Good, I mean... Obviously, if he's putting everything defense already, he doesn't have very good monsters. 
So we're just going to start attacking. Like I said, I could literally turn it to attack now and attack, which is really stupid. I think that's a horrible mechanic to add to this, but I mean, there's lots of horrible mechanics in this. Still, oh my god, I have like nothing, nothing of use. Hmm. I'm just going to do that and see if it makes something. Nope. Giant eyeball for the win. Let's attack this with this. Attack directly. Attack directly. And in our turn. Dinosaur is another one where it doesn't really mix with much of anything to be honest. Oh boy, I really just feel like getting rid of some stuff, but I don't know what to do. We'll just throw this on here and see what happens. Oh, what did that make? Stone Ghost. <laughs> he looks quite stoned, all right. Oh man. I like how that monster was called Monster Eye, but there's like nine eyes. And we'll also attack directly for the win here. Geez, Ochners, you went to me, you know, you are good. Do me a favor and beat that mage, will you? There he is, he's back! Look at that! He's got his own groupies! Do me a favor and whip the guy. Do it, Ochners! I do not know how good you are, but I hope you entertain me. I will know that you enjoy a good game. Do not disappoint me. And once again, I'm thrown into a duel without any say in the matter. Great! Hopefully he doesn't have anything good to start with. Oh boy. Hopefully I have something good to start Oh god. Nothing really, to be honest. Mm. I'm just gonna start wasting cards already. Just in case. So I, I believe he is a 12 to 1300 attack monster to start off with, without even fusing. Good thing he plays on the defense mode, that means he probably is a weak hand at the moment. Good for us. Oh boy. We have two machines, a rock, a plant, and a spellcaster. Unfortunately, it's not a female spellcaster. We're just going to kind of get rid of some hands again, yet again. Oh, it did make Gushioni anyway. Nice. I like that. Let's see. Oh, 300 defense? Huh. Thought he had way stronger monsters than that. Hopefully he'll be this easy the entire time. machine now now if we had a dinosaur I could mix the machine with a dinosaur to make cybersaurus but as for now I guess we'll just combine these two and make wood remains or can I what how do I check the field again he's a zombie this is a plant this should equal pumpkin and it does. Nice. So we'll have pumpkin attack. We got some nice fusions to start off with. I like this. Usually the fusions are way, 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 way worse. Like aqua. Uh, aqua, water in general. Uh, insects. Usually don't amount to much of anything. We're kind of just stuck here again. So I'm just going to go through this stuff and try to get rid of some things. And we'll attack with Pumpkin again. And here's the Guardian Star coming to effect again. Obviously did not matter, since 2300 against 500 isn't really much of anything. 
but we'll attack with the Uchioni directly in our turn. And yeah, the computer is not very smart. I have two higher attack monsters. Um, but since I have a lower monster on the field, they'll automatically attack it, which gives me a chance to attack their life points since I have higher monsters. And unfortunately with this game as well, you have to play a card no matter what. So we're just going to do this real quick. We're going to make Metal Dragon and we're just going to attack because we have game regardless. I would call that pretty flawless. We made some nice fusions this game. I feel like we'll only get a B rating. Oh, well, we got an A. Potion Gen is not very good, but eh, it's all right. I I cannot believe I lost. But wait a moment, you you are. Hmm, I see. Enough. That is all for today. I have a feeling our paths will cross elsewhere. Till then, I bid you farewell. Shut up with your smug little look, Seto, and your blinking eyes. You did it, Conkers. Did you see the look on his face? You were great! Ochners, you're just too good! I do bid you farewell! Ha! What a loser! Ochners, well what now? You still got some time? Uh, let's go back outside. Yeah, we'll come around and again any time. We'll be here! <laughs> we're just gonna go to the card shop and save for now, and that should be the end of... Our first part of the Let's Play. Um, for the next part, you can guarantee that I'm probably going to be grinding in between. I might do a nice little fast montage of me grinding to get some decent cards. But they don't really have anything of value so far. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And there will be a part 2 coming soon. Thanks guys. Signing off.